To all human beings experiencing quarantine, good morning. Right now, April 6, year 2021, I will perform the Activity 3 Cell Chari in action. But first, I want you to answer one question. Did you remember one postulate states that all cells come from other cells? Living things originate from cells. Well, in this activity, I would help you to understand non-spontaneous generation. Before proceeding to the activity, first, prepare the following materials. Watermelon or fruit, three glass jars, seal of the jar, rubber band, and stocking. After preparing the following materials, you can now proceed to the activity. First, mash the fruit. After mashing the fruit, put a piece of fresh fruit at the bottom of three jars. In jar A, keep the jar A open. Next is jar B. After putting the fresh fruit at the bottom of jar B, seal the mouth of the second jar with clean stocking using rubber band. Lastly, the jar C tightly put the cup and seal the third jar. Put jar A and B outside where it will be exposed to flies, while the jar C keep it in a dry area. Finally, let's go and observe. Reminder, always wear mask as you undergo observation. Observation Day 1 to 2 There are no maggots in all jars. However, it's stinky and show little signs of fungi. Observation Day 3 to 4 Fungi are present in jar A and B. Furthermore, the flies had laid eggs in jar A. The smell is still disgusting and still no maggots present in all jars. Observation Day 5 to 6 You can see that the fungi in jar A and B increased and jar A already have maggots. However, there is moist visible in jar C, and foul smell is evidence. Observation Day 7 or Week 1, you will visualize the maggots in jar A and also in jar B. But jar A have more maggots than jar B. Therefore, insects in jar B cannot enter but can lay eggs. Furthermore, both are starting to dry as you can see its color change into orange going to brown. Finally, the fungi in jar C is now present. And all jar are still disgusting. There you have it, the final result for one week. 